We're back now with a check of weather with meteorologist Mike Hoffman. Mike, yesterday you mentioned that we're going to see a warm up later this week. With that warm weather, not a lot of moisture on this map. It's kind of scary. It seems a lot like last yeah, year. Yeah, I understand that. Overall, uh, around the, the whole northern hemisphere, though, it's a completely different weather pattern, so we're not expecting that, that at all. And as a matter of fact, I think within a, a week and a half here, we'll be seeing a lot of activity across the eastern two-thirds of the country. So we'll be watching that for you. But like uh, Tyne said, not a lot going on now. A weak cool front, a few showers in south Florida, a weak cool front across the uh, Great Lakes, causing a few snow showers there. And uh, the activity is actually out west, where it's starting to get a little more active. Some rain coming into northern and central California there. As we head through the day today, there will be rain and mountain snows in the northwest over the next few days. But you can see high pressure dominating most of the southern tier of states from the Four Corner region eastward and another dome of high pressure over the upper uh, Midwest. As we head through the nighttime hours tonight, not a lot going on. A few lake effect snow showers in the Great Lakes. More rain coming into the Pacific Northwest. So again, that's going to be where the activity is over the next 48 hours with multiple systems kind of coming inland uh, in the western parts of the country. Let's check out the uh, precipitation estimate over the past 24 hours. We've seen the uh Lingering effects of that storm system that moved off the uh, eastern seaboard over the past 24 hours. A little bit of rain there in the southeast. Again, some activity in the uh, northern parts of the Great Lakes. <clears throat> you can see as we add on the next 24 hours, not a lot really to add anywhere in the map in the east. However, a lot to add out west. In fact, parts of northern and central California are going to get a lot of rain the way it looks with that system coming inland. As far as snow is concerned, you can see some over the uh, northwestern portions of the Great Lakes. Adding on the next 24 hours, we'll also add some out west in the highest elevations all the way down into east central California. The Sierra Nevada is there. Northern Rockies getting some as well. Temperatures then you can see still pretty cold from the northern plains into the northeast with uh, highs today only in the 20s and 30s. 40s by the time you get to the southern Great Lakes. 60s by the time you get down to the Gulf of Mexico. Low temperatures tonight. Big difference from north to south here. Single digits up along the Canadian border. 40s though by the time you get to the northern Gulf of Mexico. There's the jet stream by Friday. That is called a zonal flow. Fast moving flow from west to east. That'll make it pretty warm for most of the middle of the country. Get a little bit of a ridge there early next week. Then the start of the cold air comes with that next trough coming in to the plains and the Great Lakes by Wednesday. That's a look across the country. Now let's take a look at some local forecasts. For Santa Rosa, California today, cloudy and breezy, some heavy rain at times, high temperature of 59. Topeka, Kansas, plenty of sunshine today and pleasant, high of 53. And Bridgeport, West Virginia, partly sunny, the high of 41 degrees.